What's going on everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch today. We are going to be doing a bottle review. We're going to be covering Penelope 13 year old American Light Whiskey. All right, before we get into the review, uh, we have to answer the question, what is light whiskey? To understand what light whiskey is, you kind of have to understand why light whiskey. So in a very wrenchified explanation of what light whiskey is. Back in the day, we're talking 60s or 70s, vodka, gin, the neutral grain spirits were kind of the king of the liquor world. Whiskey companies in turn said, we need something to compete with their lack of flavor. Here comes light whiskey. So if you look at what whiskey is, how do you get rid of flavor, okay? First thing, and this is a rule of light whiskey, is you have to distill it between 160 proof and 190 proof. In comparison, bourbon cannot be distilled over 160 proof. Okay, so the goal with this is to strip a lot of flavor out of the process. Second, okay, what else adds flavor to whiskey? It's the barrel, it's the vessel that it's resting in. So they asked, how do we get rid of more flavor from this barrel? So another rule for the light whiskey it has to be aged in either a used oak barrel or in a new uncharred barrel. So this went on for some time. Don't know how popular that came to be. Uh, back then they kind of did this process, threw it in a barrel for a couple years and called it good. I couldn't imagine it being all that great, but that was their way to compete. So fast forward into present day, and they kind of stumbled across some light whiskey barrels that were aged significantly longer than they typically were. Someone said, whoa, tastes pretty good. Maybe we should release this. And then ever since then, it's kind of been growing in popularity. More and more people are sourcing some of these older stocked barrels, and they just so happen to stumble across, and that's where we're at. Oversimplified, I know, but the takeaway has to be distilled between 160 and 190, and it has to be in a used barrel or an uncharred barrel. So, that brings us to Penelope. These guys out of New Jersey, they have been absolutely killing it. I've been loving everything they're doing. Um, then here we go. They sourced some 13-year-old American Light Whiskey from MGP. In fact, this stuff was distilled in 2008, so that was what used to be known as Seagram's Indiana, now known as MGP, or whatever the heck name they're going with now. But MGP, stuff's bottled, 128.4, 64.2%, 13 years old, non-chill filtered, yes. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So, you know, I don't want to state the obvious. The color on this is very, light. Who would have guessed light whiskey is light? It's interesting though because compared to bourbon, so this is 13, if you threw this up next to a 13 year old bourbon, the color difference is just stark. It just goes to show the power that these barrels have on the whiskey. On the nose, very, and I mean extremely vanilla forward. Like heavy vanilla, almost like a vanilla 
icing, um, vanilla cake batter. It's crazy. It's so, so incredibly sweet. Further down the nose, it almost, almost has like a butterscotch uh, thickness, but uh, that's kind of the thing I've noticed with light whiskeys. Uh, they're not over the top with how many different flavor notes there are, but the notes that are there are just like through the friggin' roof intense. I heard someone mention that this has like a kettle corn note. I would have never said that until I heard that. And when I go to this and I think kettle corn, let me, let me tell you the story. When Lil Rich was 10, 11 years old, my school had what was called Civil War Day. And all these people showed up dressed as Civil War people. They were out in the field shooting muskets and cannonballs. But there were also people like cooking Civil War food that the kids could come and eat. And there's this guy cooking Civil War kettle corn. Don't really know what made it Civil War, but that's what he was doing. And this glass brings me back to that day, to that guy cooking kettle corn. It's crazy. It's weird what the brain hangs on to. All right, let's taste it. Unfortunately, that kettle corn note kind of stayed on the nose. This is literally liquid icing. This is like you took the cake icing and just dumped it into the cake batter itself. I think that's an important thing to note about this is just how sweet and how vanilla forward this is, okay? Again, stating the obvious, a little bit lighter on the palate. Those vanilla notes are really what you're getting. It's kind of like the lack of oak characteristics, the lack of that char. Um, you can really tell that, you can tell. You can tell that that is not having an impact on this. There is maybe, maybe like a creme brulee note on there, like a burnt vanilla, toasted burnt vanilla. Uh, nothing extreme though. I personally really like this. I have a sweet tooth. I like the sweet vanilla notes. I love the heavy vanilla notes. The proof on this is not too intense. Definitely gonna let you know it's high proof, but it's a nice way. It's a nice, warm American hug. Also being non-chill filtered, extremely viscous coating mouthfeel. It's so creamy. It, it literally tastes like um, some sort of creamed icing. Overall, it's really good. So let's move on to the most important question. Is it worth the price? So this bottle retails around $80, $85. I think I paid $85 before tax. So for me, $85 is probably the upper limit that I would pay for this bottle. Um, I know the prices of these light whiskeys vary. Um, you know, you got the Obtaniums that are out there. Bull Run has some American whiskeys. And then on the upper limit of things, stuff like Old Carter. So, I mean, the price of these are all over the place. It's kind of hard to say because it is kind of a new territory as far as these aged light whiskeys go. But again, I think 80 bucks for this bottle's fair. Uh, here's my issue, and I wouldn't say it's an issue with this bottle in particular, but maybe an issue I just hope doesn't happen. I just hope that with, you know, aged bourbons getting harder to come by as far as these people sourcing them, that I hope they don't turn to light whiskey um, because this is, this is 13 years old. There are obtaniums that are 16 years old. I just hope that they don't turn to these light whiskeys and really capitalize on the age versus the flavor that's in the bottle. I just hope that people don't take an age statement and say, well, this is 16, go ahead and pay double the price or something. You know, I, just, I, I don't want to see that. I just hope that it doesn't catch this trend of everyone trying to jump on this bandwagon of, well, I can get a 14-year-old light whiskey and, and that be the selling point. It kind of reminds me of, of the 15-year-old the bourbon craze that we went through, or kind of still going through, of all these people just showing up out of nowhere with a sourced 15-year-old bourbon charging $150, $200, selling it, 
people going crazy, and then you just don't hear about them again. It was like they just jumped on this little cash train, you know, to catch in on all the hype, and then they're gone. I just hope that light whiskey doesn't turn into that, uh, because we do see some pretty incredible age statements on these. But again, you know, a 16-year-old or a 13-year-old light whiskey isn't the same as a 13-year-old bourbon. A 13-year-old bourbon's gonna have far deeper, richer, more complex flavors than a 13-year-old light whiskey, but I'm not saying that in a way to negate what this bottle has to offer. I think it's really good. I think the flavors that are in there are solid. They're delicious. In closing, okay, for 80 bucks, I would say it's a recommend if you are someone who knows that you like light whiskey. If you're someone who doesn't like light whiskeys, then I don't think this is going to change your mind about them. I think they have a similar enough flavor profile that if you didn't like these other ones, then I don't think this one's doing anything so different that you're gonna love it, but not the others. So there we have it, guys. Penelope 13-year-old American light whiskey. If you liked the video at any point in the video, consider hitting the like button if you're not subscribed. Be sure to click the little subscribe button. Hit the bell notification right next to it. You'll be notified when I go live, when I upload new videos. If you want to support me more, there are plenty of ways to do so in the description. Consider joining our Patreon page. And until next time, guys, I'm Trev Wilson. I will see you in the next video.